Nancy, when you're ready, I'd love to understand how nursing could actually teach CEOs about leadership given these new realities that we're being faced with. What I've learned is um, people leave the work environment if it's not healthy. They want professional development. They want a healthy work environment. They want some control over their schedule and you know their professional life. CEOs are afraid to fail. You don't, you're not going to fail if you don't try. But you know there are a lot of things that have been successful in my professional career as a leader um, just for trying new things. You just listen to what they have to say. Tell them what you can't do. Be very transparent. How did you learn to let go? I learned that trying to control everything, that, that I just couldn't do that. Um, and that I needed to let go, step back. There are times when I sit on my hands and it's tough, or I bite my lip and don't say anything. So it's not easy, but I've learned that it's more rewarding to listen, try new things, work with the staff, and really work on more of their happiness. Because when they're happy in the workplace, they don't consider going somewhere else. I just loved Nancy's view and that perspective. And I think a lot of new nurses, they have a lot of ideas, but they don't always know how to implement it. And nurses need leaders to help, you know, seasoned leaders to help guide them through that process. So I loved your input, Nancy. I think that's, it's actually how I define myself as a leader is a facilitator, a facilitator mm. of change. And that as many people as I can involve in that change, it, um, it helps me feel more successful and I think brings other people along with me. What are the ways that you think that the nursing profession has been successful in overcoming healthcare provider challenges and how can their successes help leadership practice personalization? I really feel that nursing more than pretty much any other profession in the healthcare industry bears the burden of decisions. And because of that, I believe a culture of just resilience has really been created and formed time and time again, forcing nurses to adapt and make quick changes. And that quick acting, that not being paralyzed by the challenges that face, I think that, that to me really defines what nursing is. And I think every leader can look towards that, that ability to act quickly and think on your feet is a skill that is desperately needed throughout healthcare. So Rebecca, how can nursing teach the importance of building internal advocacy and partnerships? Nursing is a really safe space and a really difficult um, healthcare environment because of that true collaboration that I have with my team. I think where nursing loses the thread is that we don't collaborate well across levels of um, organizational authority and we don't always get that collaboration with our physician providers. But at the base, we're really, really good at not making decisions until we've gotten second and third opinions. What is the secret to sustainable change in healthcare? I think it's, again, to involve more people in your change if you want them to be sustained. Offering people ownership versus buy-in. Recognize me for championing change. Allowing people to speak up without um, fear of judgment. So excellent. psychological safety, I think, is really important. Creating collaborative spaces with those adjacent to us as well is critical. Providing opportunities to lead and hear our voices. There's a lot of ideas that go unheard 